The marketing team at AdventureWorks has a site on the company intranet that it created by using the Team Site Template in Microsoft Office SharePoint Server 2007. Team members use the site every day to collaborate on documents, track projects, and share information. Chris, a product marketing manager for AdventureWorks, visits the marketing team site to get a few things done. The home page for the marketing team site displays announcements, a calendar of upcoming events, links to frequently used resources, and a list of site contacts. This information, which is stored in lists and libraries on the site, is displayed on the home page in Web Parts. Today, Chris wants to add the dates for a product launch event to the team calendar. To do this, Chris clicks Calendar. The calendar is a SharePoint list that offers a calendar view of dates. Chris changes the view for the calendar so that he can see all events at a glance. To do this, he clicks All Events on the View menu. All Events view displays the calendar information in a typical list format. To add a new event to the calendar, Chris points to the new menu and then clicks New Item. Adding a new event to the calendar is just like adding a new item to any SharePoint list. Chris types the information about title and location for the launch event and selects the appropriate dates. Chris selects the option to make this an all-day event. Chris clicks OK and the updated information appears on the home page for the marketing team site. The event that Chris added now appears in the calendar list. Chris wants to see the team calendar next to his personal calendar in Microsoft Office Outlook 2007. To link the team calendar to Outlook, Chris clicks Connect to Outlook on the Actions menu. Chris's Outlook calendar automatically opens and the team's SharePoint calendar is now displayed. Chris clicks the arrow on the tab of the SharePoint team calendar to view it in overlay mode with his personal calendar. Next, Chris needs to upload a few documents to the team's document library. He returns to the browser window displaying the marketing team site and clicks the link on the quick launch named Marketing Documents. To upload all of the documents at once, Chris clicks the arrow next to Upload and then clicks Upload Multiple Documents. Chris locates the folder on his computer where the documents are saved, selects the documents he wants to upload, and then clicks OK. The files that Chris uploaded now appear in the Marketing Documents Library. Chris realizes that he needs to update the properties for the documents he just uploaded so that they are properly categorized. To update the properties for all of his new files at once, he clicks the Actions menu and then clicks Edit in Datasheet. Chris locates each of the new documents, clicks the down arrow in the Project column, and then clicks Special Events to classify each of the documents. When he is finished updating the properties for the new documents, Chris clicks the Actions menu and then clicks Show in Standard View to return to the main view of the Marketing Documents Library. The Project column now displays the updated property values for the three documents that Chris just updated. Chris won't have time to continue work on the media plan until after lunch. To prevent others from making changes to the document before it's ready, Chris decides to check it out. To check the file out, Chris points to the file name, clicks the down arrow, and then clicks Check Out. Chris can work on the file in Microsoft Office Word 2007 and save changes locally to his own computer. To do this, Chris selects Use My Local Drafts folder. While Chris has the file checked out, he is the only person who can work on it. When he checks the file back in, other members of the team can see the version with the latest updates. Other people on the marketing team can see that Chris has the file checked out 
because its icon has changed. Next, Chris needs to pull together a presentation for a meeting. Chris clicks the Strategy Slides link on the Quick Launch to go to the team slide library. Other people on the team have created slides for the upcoming presentation, and there are also some slides that Chris wants to reuse. To create the presentation, Chris selects the individual slides he wants and then clicks Copy Slide to Presentation. Microsoft Office PowerPoint 2007 opens. Chris selects the option to create a new presentation and then selects the option Tell me when this slide changes. The next time that Chris opens the new presentation, he will be prompted to check for updates to any of the original slides. Chris can be confident that his presentation contains up-to-date information. Chris wants to save the presentation back to the team's SharePoint site. To do this, Chris clicks the Microsoft Office button, points to Publish, and then clicks Document Management Server. The Save As dialog box contains a link called My SharePoint Sites that Chris can use to save files easily to the SharePoint sites he works with. Chris clicks My SharePoint Sites, browses to the Marketing Team site, and finds the library he needs. Then he names the file and clicks Save. Chris clicks the link for the Marketing Documents library on the Quick Launch and sees that the new presentation is there. Chris has a few minutes to spare before his next meeting. He decides to visit the marketing blog that some of his colleagues have created. He uses the top link bar to navigate to the blog site. The blog is a great resource for the team because it enables them to share new ideas and industry-related information. Chris notices that an RSS feed is available for the blog. With an RSS feed, Chris can receive automatic updates on new content that is posted to the blog. Chris decides to subscribe to the RSS feed for the team blog so that he can find out when there are new posts to the blog. Chris clicks the RSS feed link to go to the subscription page. He then clicks Subscribe to this feed. Chris uses Outlook 2007 as his RSS reader. When he views his RSS subscriptions folder in Outlook, he can see that there is now a folder for the marketing blog. These are just some of the ways that a team site can simplify collaboration and help make team members more efficient.